Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. 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 How y'all doing? Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. Hey, Auntie, what's going on, brother? Happy Monday, how's everybody? Ah, uh, this Instagram is doing all kind of funny things already. Hard to read y'all. What's up, Church of God in Christ? They got y'all in a different way on my phone. That's all right. We're going to keep going on. We're going to do what we do with it. We're going to do what we do, what we do, what we do, what we do. We all well. Everybody well. We're going to keep it moving. It don't matter. See, this is a teachable moment for us. Instagram ain't doing it like it normally do. So I'm like, I can't hardly see my people. I can't touch them and wave to them. It's starting to do that crazy stuff again. I ain't worried about that. It just falls in line with what I came on live to tell y'all for on Happy Monday. You're going to have to stay with it. <laughs> See, I came on to tell y'all to just to kind of remind y'all that y'all gonna, you're going to have to stay with it. You ain't going to be able to get done what you're trying to get done if you keep quitting. You're going to have to stay with it. Yeah, that's what I came to tell y'all. And see, I came to tell y'all that in the universe of God said, yeah, I know you came to tell them that, but I'm going to line it up so that it all fits perfectly. So I know you think you just came to tell them, but see, when you do it the way I, come on, brother, help me out. Stay with it. That's my brothers. Those are my brothers. Those are my brothers. I did shoot. I love them brothers so much and ain't even met them. And they so nice to me. I have to tell my husband, they, they friends of mine. He said, all right, now make sure they friends of yours. You're going to have to stay with it. You're going to have to stay with it. See, I just came on to do what I thought I should be doing. But the universe of God said, see, when you show up to do it the way I tell you to do it, I'm going to make it even amazing. See, here he go. He done got the, uh, you said, well, no, how he, how you going to say God did it? Anything that works out good for me is of the universe of God. I came on to tell y'all, y'all going to have to stay with it. And all of a sudden, now Instagram ain't acting right. I can't. Hit it and tell y'all hello and I'll send you love and do all that kind of stuff. I can't do that right now. So I guess I could do a couple things. I could just say, well, I'm going to get off and start back and get back on another time or do something. No, you're going to have to just stay with it because it ain't going to always go the way you want it to go. Mm -mm. This is teachable, mom. You got to stay with it. It's Monday morning. Some places it's raining. Some places it's sunny. Some places you broke. Some places you try to figure out how you're going to get through it. Some places just got a couple extra dollars. Well, some people are doing well. It don't matter. You're going to have to stay with it. You're going to have to stay with it. I promise you, you're going to have to stay with it. People say, well, it's easy for you to say you got 51 houses. You got your own subdivision. I do. And I'm grateful for it. And I'm not going to play small with that because that's doing a disservice to the universe of God that allowed me to get it. Yeah, me playing small does not elevate the God that allowed me to get it done because it sure wasn't by my might only. So, no. Yeah, I do have it. I do have it. But I didn't get it except for I what? Had to stay with it. You're going to have to stay with it. It don't matter what you're going through. It don't matter what it's looking like. You're going to have to stay with it. I'm talking to myself. You're going to have to stay with it. I know it's Monday and everybody say, Monday is a fresh day. It's a fresh start. It's this and it's that. It is. But Monday is the biggest day for you to remember. You're going to have to stay with it. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it feels like. I don't care what everybody's saying. I don't care if you're in a bad relationship. Mm -mm. I don't care. You're going to have to stay with it. If you said, this ain't going to work for me. This ain't what I want. Well, if you make the decision you want to get out, you're going to have to make that decision and stay with it. If you said, no, this is where I want to be, this is what I want to do, you know, I'm just going to, you know, I just got to figure out how to make it work. Well, you're going to have to stay with it. Am I glowing, baby? I'm, tr I'm trying. I'm trying. I keep telling y'all. I don't say a whole lot about it. I'm trying. I'm down 20-something pounds. You got to stay with it. I'm talking to myself. I'm having to stay with it. I'm having to stay with it. I gained a lot of weight uh, doing Covenant Cove. I ain't mad about it, but I stayed with it and got it finished. Yeah, I got finished. I had 51 houses and 60 extra pounds, 60 some extra pounds. Now I don't want the 60 some extra pounds. So just as diligent as I stay with developing Covenant Cove and getting it done, I'm going to have to stay with the program in which I'm working to get healthier. Because I'm not interested in having a lot of wealth with no health. I ain't interested in that. Let somebody else do that. You're going to have to stay with it. 
I don't care what it is. I don't care if you said, well, I just started school, and now they ain't letting us go to school. This is my first year at college, and I was already nervous, and now we online, and I'm just nervous about it. Stay with it, baby. You're going to have to stay with it. You're going to have to stay with it. You're going to have to stay with it. Whatever it is you're trying to figure out, you're going to have to stay with it. And I'm talking to myself, and y'all just hanging out with me, and I'm happy to have y'all here, but you're going to have to stay with it. Yeah, trust me, and it don't always get easy. Mm -mm, but it's worth it. You say, how hey, you know? I've been married 25 years to the same man. You got to stay with it. If that's what you want, you got to stay with it. Now, I don't preach it and telling y'all stay with your marriage if you got stuff that's going on that's not in your best interest. To stay with it that you need to be doing is making a decision of what you want and then do it. If you say, I want to get out and make a decision and stay with it and get it done. If you want to stay with it, come on, brother, tell them about that consistency. If you want to stay with it, you want to stay in it, you're going to have to decide. I don't care what it is. Come on for the fire. Look at these sweet women always giving me love and support. Y'all say, well, you shouldn't tell them that. Why shouldn't I tell them that? I'm almost 60 years old. Instagram is new to me. I've been on it for the last couple of years, and I'm still learning it. Still will uh, delete you, relete you, put you on. Didn't know what to figure out. Staying with it. Miss Courtney, you and I do all that? Mm -mm. Staying with it, though. I'm staying with it. I don't know this technology like y'all know, but I'm staying with it. You're going to have to stay with it. You're going to have to stay with it. If you're trying to join something where you're trying to make some extra money, it, it, let me help you out. I don't care. You said, well, it didn't come as fast for me. That's a lot of stuff don't come as fast for me. I think I did the third grade twice. It didn't, school didn't come as fast for me. And then when I got out of high school, I was still reading on an eighth and ninth grade level. It didn't come that high. didn't come. But I stayed with it. I said, oh, okay. So I ain't got to be in school to learn schooling? Okay. So I might be done graduated, but I still need to be educating myself. Oh, yeah. So I just went to educate myself. I just went, thank you. Somebody said, hit the share button. Oh, remind my tribe. All you got to do is ask them. This tribe nine for life over here. All you got to do is ask them. All you got to do is ask them. Stay with it. You got to stay with it. I said, oh, okay. So I might be done graduated from high school, but I ain't got a high school education. So I'm going to have to keep educating myself. Going to courses, going to classes, reading books, um, studying stuff, because I needed to bring my learning up. Got to stay with it. I ain't telling you what to stay with. I'm telling you once you decide what you want, you're going to have to stay with it, baby. Because I guarantee you, Superman ain't coming. He ain't coming. I looked for him for a long time. He ain't coming. Whatever you want, whatever you're trying to accomplish, it's already there. You're the only one going to be able to get it. It's you. You're going to have to decide to go after it. You're going to have to decide to stick with it. You're going to have to decide. You know what? Come hell or hot water, I'm going to stay with it. Mm -hmm. This one here on my watch. And I don't mind telling you something I'm going to take because y'all my tribe nine for life. I'm going to give y'all a bit of advice. Let me tell you something I'm going to share with y'all because y'all so kind to me. Guess what? It tastes sweeter when you do it yourself. Yeah, let me run that by you one more time. It's sweeter. It's sweeter, baby, when you do it yourself. Yeah. I done had people give me things, and I'm grateful for it. Grateful, trust me. But it tastes so much sweeter when you accomplish it yourself. When you put the work in for yourself. When you know you did it. And don't get me wrong. My husband come bearing gifts all the time. All the time. I like gifts, but when I'm trying to handle my business, it's sweeter when I get it done myself. But the only way to get it done is you got to be committed that you're going to stay with it. You got to stay with it. I got some of my brothers on here that have been DMing me, telling me, Miss Courtney, I just got out of jail, just got out of prison. You know, I've been doing this time. I had to do this time. I'm just having a hard time. I understand. I understand, my brother. But you're going to have to stay with it because if you don't stay with it, you know where you're going. You just, came, you just came from where they want you to go back. Oh, no, you're going to have to stay with it. What, you're going to have to stay with it because your, your cot is waiting on you. They want you to come back because that's how they make their living. Oh, they didn't build jails just for criminals. No, 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 no. They build jails because they make money off of jails. And you can't make money off of jails if you don't have clients. Oh, I apologize. Prisoners. If they don't have prisoners in the jail that they refer to as clients, then they're not making no money. It's simple business, baby. Just simple business. It's like Covenant Cove. If I don't have nobody living in Covenant Cove, I ain't making no money. I'm not making
making no money if I don't have nobody living and paying rent in company code. It's just business. So to the brother that you sent that to me, stay with it. Your better days are today and before you, not yesterday. That was just a piece. That's just a chapter in your journey. That's just a chapter in the book that you write, a chapter in your journey. It's just, just a look. Hey, that's just part. Oh, don't don't stop on that chapter because if you stop on that chapter, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss the aha, the, the goodness of the ending. That was just chapter three, chapter four. We got chapter nine to go where we celebration time. Come on. Don't miss the celebration, baby. That was just, that was a hiccup. Oh, got tripped up. They caught me in the net. No. For that young lady who called me and said she's 22 with five kids. Okay. So what that mean? 22 with five kids, what that mean? Giving up time? No, it means you made some decisions and you brought some people in the world that you're going to have to figure out how to do what? Handle your business. You're going to have to step up and handle your business. That's all that is. Yeah, it sounds like that's going to be an amazing part of your testimony. But you're going to have to stick with it. It ain't going to come easy. I ain't got nothing easy to sell over here to y'all. I can't tell you, take my course, join my team. Hey, join me. And hey, if you want to do multiple level marketing and get health and wellness and all of that, join me. Hey, I can't tell you that. And everything ain't going to be easy. I can't tell you that. Can't tell you that. You're going to have to push through it, baby. You know, I'm pushing through it now. I know y'all want me on Instagram looking like, oh, hi, is everybody? Oh, I bring y'all greetings. Bring you greetings. And, oh, I know everybody's doing amazing. Oh, girl, you better be fighting through it. You better fight through it. We got a whole lot of stuff going on in the world. But guess what? We know in the end we win. That's what it say. Say in the end we win. So this is your Motivation Monday telling you to stay with it. Get in there. If you say get off the sofa, get off that ID channel, get off that TV and say, you know what? I don't care if you ain't got nothing else to do but walk. If you say, well, I don't have no job, I ain't got nothing else, get up, get out, get walking. I don't care. Get the endorphins moving in your mind to get your brain going. You say, well, I'm just going to scroll through some stuff to get motivated. You done scrolled enough, baby. You done scrolled enough, get up, go walking, get yourself a shower, get yourself a bath, take some time and sit with the creator and ask for directions and listen for the guidance that he's going to give you. But you're going to have to stay with it because it ain't going to come if you don't stay with it. You don't get to do 51 houses, covenantcovecommunity.com if you don't stay with it. No. I got 60 pounds in that book that's coming. When, that, when you get ready to read that book that's coming out, there's a chapter about the 60 pounds. There's a chapter about me sleeping on the sofa for more than two weeks. And the husband saying, you can sleep on that sofa every day you want to. I ain't going nowhere. And I prefer you come down to the bed, but I ain't going nowhere. I'll be right here. You got to stay with it. Oh, it's a crying days from Covenant Cove. I know y'all just Google Earth at 2804 Covenant Cove, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72204. Y'all just Google Earth and look at it from the sky and it looks so pretty. Oh, no, no. It's some trying days came with that, but it's okay. That's just chapter. That's just one chapter in the whole book. Go out, take care of this Monday, do your best of best. Do what you know you're capable of doing and remind yourself that I'm not only going to stay with it, I'm worth staying with it. Yeah, now that's what I want to leave you with. That's the teachable moment that we don't always hear. Yeah, did you hear that? Let me recap that for you one more time in case you didn't get it. Let me make sure you get that. You are worth everything great that is happening in your life and going to happen in your life. I know you may have heard something different. I may, somebody may have told you something different. It don't matter. You are worth it all. You are deserving of it all. Yeah just like you are. So people say, when, oh girl, how you end up with your subdivision? I deserved it. Did, did she say that? I deserved it. Everything that's great enough, God, I deserve it. I deserve it all and so do you. So get yourself together, restart your day if you need to, or continue the amazing day that you have already started. But you remember this, it's Motivation Monday and I need you to what? Stay with it. All right, y'all have a good day. See y'all next time. And thank you for giving me your most valuable asset, your time. I'll see y'all next time. PamBrownCourtney.com. See y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.